How are you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review. A little bit of uh, sour beer time. A little bit of collab. A little bit of overseas collab time. Let's go that way. I like that one. In the form of... I'm going to have to read this because I'm going to butcher it anyway. So, It's Cloudwater Brewing collabing with Brasserie du Mont Savi. I probably, actually, I might have nailed that. Oh, shit. And this is their pompette, or pompettes, or pompettes, as we would say in the United States, and they're going to roll on whatever's words. Uh, yeah, little, I don't know what kind of collab going on here. It's a sour beer. Let's put it that way. And it's collab, and I'm kind of hoping it's delicious because I'm kind of in the mood for a banging little sour jammer right now. So let's get to it. Uh, cloud Water and Salivy. Salivy? 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 I don't know. Whatever. It says here, Brewed in collaboration with our friends of Bresu Dumont Salivy. Salivy? Whatever. This a beer was fermented with a mix of champagne and Saison yeast, then blended with Lactobacillus del Brecker. Sour and dry hopped with 120 kg of French aroma hops. Uh, so yeah, you're talking about probably a hop poured on the nose, kind of tartish kind of beer. That's the vibes I'm getting. I could be totally wrong. And it is ba 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 ba. Oh, one month on the nose. Label wise, it's cool. I dig it. There's like a dudes. That's the whole like uh, what is that? A gangster meme thing going on there. So yeah, there you go. Give this a crack. I'm curious is the color of this one. Now, champagne yeast, um, what do they say? Wine and champagne yeast, was it again? Mix of champagne and Cezanne yeast. Dry. I'm expecting to be very dry. I'm very sensitive to um, champagne yeast, and it comes off like almost mouth crushingly dry to me. So we'll see what it, how it comes. Now, <clears throat> how we'll play with the sour, how we'll play with the hops, we'll see. It might be a drying a bitter. Excuse me. Beer of Madness. But uh, what we have first off, stands a little bit of Dirty Glass Mafia, is, uh, yeah, Pinky Finger, Khaki Colored Head. Just underneath that, maybe, in a soft, hazy, champagne-looking kind of carbonation and whatnot. I mean, she's got a soft carbonation. Light in color. Definitely Saison's kind of champagne in color. Let's see what the nose has. Very... Season, very season, like a uh, almost like a uh, like a, uh, it's a banana estery season. Let's put it that way. Getting a ton of banana out of this, like crazy amounts of banana, bubblegum banana. It's all about the bubblegum banana in here. There's not much pepperiness to it. Um, there's a, a subtle, very subtle. So I don't even go acidic. I don't even go tart. Slightly semi-tartness to it. And a generic bittering. There's a sweetness kind of wafting throughout it. And that kind of bubblegum banana thing. It's definitely like if you took a little bit of banana and smeared it in some like Bazooka Joe kind of old school kind of, you know, uh, pink uh, powdered kind of gum vibe in there. So it definitely has those things going on. Yeah, bubblegum banana. What else do you want? I'm going to drink it and see what's up. Cheers. Man, that's not a sour beer. Yeah, that's a slightly more tart and acidic season. That's exactly what that is. There's a nuttiness to it. There's a nutty maltiness to it. And there's a bitterness to it. Yeah. A slight nuttiness to it, a nice bitterness to it. I'm starting to get like melon, rindy vibe from it. This is super fun. This is my kind of beer right here, actually. This is stuff that really does me proper. It's a saison, is what it is. It has a bit of old school kind of hoppy bitterness to it, like kind of like aged hoppiness. Um, that nutty maltiness with a little, little crackeriness to it too is there. You're getting that banana bubblegum 
yeasty estery thing going on, but not like you're not getting any of that kind of pepperiness, that spiciness that you typically get from the saison. You're getting a dryness from that champagne yeast. It's fun. It's interesting. This is this to me is something I could drink like five at dinner, or it's one of those beers that I want to have a gigantic portion of at a share. And I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna drink all these kind of hop this and barrel aged that and pastry that kind of beers and this is what I'm drinking on the side while I'm sipping two ounces of everything else that's what this beer it it, it's, it it deserves a much better fate than that than just to be that kind of beer but that's where this one would land for me again like it would be a food beer a dinner beer um, you know one of those kind of things this is a, a perfect kind of outdoorsy beer for me too if you're gonna sit there um, I, I'm moving to Jersey in a farm and it's got a beautiful view and this is to sit on a view and not think about anything and just enjoy a beer. This can fit many forms, so I'm not trying to pigeonhole it into just some rando kind of share kind of uh, tweener beer. Uh, it's way, des deserves way better uh, fate than that, like I said. But yeah, every time I sip it, I get a little bit more. A little green apple skin there now. I could sit and let this warm up. Turn into a totally different beer. This is a great fucking beer, actually. This is an absolutely fantastic beer. Wow. Oh, yeah. God damn. Was it 8.3%? 8, 8 so she's got some oomph to her, too. Mm. I'm digging this. They talk, they go into all the ingredients here. I've noticed this on the, both Cloudwater and other UK breweries. Maybe it's a kind of um, a country thing where they have to go into it. They talk about yeasts, a whole bunch of different yeasts in here. Aroma hops, bittering hops, malts. Yeah, I'm not gonna read them all off because I'll butcher half of them. But yeah, it, it's a it's a weird beer, and it it's definitely it's saison in its in its soul, but it has a it has more to it than that. And I don't know what that is. Uh, you figure I would, but sometimes I don't. What I know is is it's delicious for me, and. Um, it's, uh, yeah. I know the people who would love this. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's not a beer for everybody, I don't think. But it, it's definitely a beer for people that are into kind of um, something other than singular flavors. Because the complexity, the layers in this are pretty pretty off the hook. Uh, so let's talk about it. Because I don't know what else to say other than that. I mean, it's very cryptic. Very kind of not giving you much information. But sometimes that shit happens. Yeah, bittering, bittering from the hops, the dryness from that champagne yeast, banana bubblegum from that other yeasty bits and pieces. Getting a little bit of citrus now on there. I'm getting a little bit, get little bits and pieces of, of different little things each time I taste it. So, yeah, all over the place beer in a very fun way. Let's talk about it. It's one of the better... Saisons, because that's what it is. It's a Saison. Uh, I've had as of late. Actually, yeah, one of the best I've had as of late. Doesn't seem that way, because I'm not ecstatic and freaking out, but I think it's more because it's making my brain fire. The synapses are going, so I'm thinking about it more than I'm enjoying it, which is kind of a bummer, but I'll enjoy it. Don't worry. Uh, value to availability? No idea. Mm -hmm. It's QK GMs. Somebody chime in on that and leave you with if you like what we like this. If you like yeast driven beers. I mean, that's, that's where this one lands. It's a yeast-driven beer, sure. You know, it's got a nice malty sweetness to it, sure. You definitely have the hops in play here. Uh, the way they come off kind of old-school bittering is really cool. But it's all about the yeast in here. And it's all about a couple different yeasts kind of just merging and melding together and, and doing what it needs to do to, uh, to make something pretty damn fucking interesting. So if you like the yeast jams, if you're down with the yeast, you'll at least find it at least super interesting, if not delicious, because, you know, you might not love it, but you'll be intrigued as where it's been and where it's going. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, didn't, anywhere in between, down there, words and stuff. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, all four of those places for the social medias. Uh, Beer Massive, M-A-S-F, S-F, well, words, let's lift it over. M-A-S-S-I-F dot com. Uh, Beer Massive. It's uh, my podcasting network. 
that I'm trying to get back off the ground after kind of taking a hiatus, hiatus from those things. Words are hard today uh, for a bit. So, yeah, go check that out. Like, subscribe, or go to your favorite podcasting app and find it there. And there you go. Another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a super interesting Eastern beer right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.